Hey boys and girls, um, today we're going to be talking about the artist Andy Warhol and his pop art diptychs. So here are some images of Andy Warhol. Um, he was most popular working in the 1960s. He was born August 6th, 1928 and died in February of 1987. So he's an American artist and a film director who was super, super well-known in pop art in the 1960s. Pop art just stands for popular art. So pop is a shorter version of popular. So he used a lot of celebrities and advertising in his work. And he did lots of different things like painting, silk screening, photography, film, videos, sculpture, all different kinds of things. But his best known artworks are his silkscreen paintings of the Campbell's Soup Can and the Marilyn Diptych. Now, when we went to the Everson Museum in third grade, you might have seen the Campbell's Soup Can. So here's the Marilyn. You can see that there are multiples of her, so there is more than one of her, and all the colors are slightly changed. Same with Mickey Mouse. So this is a style that he uses a lot, where he changes the color from panel to panel. Here's me in New York City in front of his Campbell soup cans. Now he does have one Campbell soup can at the Everson, but here in New York City there were quite a few. So a diptych is a work that has multiple images, kind of like you see here. And here is a really great example of the Campbell soup cans in the different colors. Now these cans of soup paintings were so popular that Target a couple years ago actually decided to release labels of soup that looked like Andy Warhol, which I thought was pretty cool. He also does bananas, so a lot of the time his artwork is just things that you can find around the house, and even bottles of coke. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose an iconic image frequently used by Andy Warhol. So you know, bananas, actresses, soup cans, coke bottles, cartoons, flowers, any of that kind of stuff. And then we're going to create multiple images filling the page in Google Drawings and alter the colors using filters and then create a border. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So what you would do is you would go into your classwork and I'm gonna go into my Andy Warhol assignment, view assignment. Now you'll have information over here that I put, but I'm gonna click add or create and make a Google drawing. As soon as it's done loading, I can go ahead and click on it and it'll already have my name and the title of the assignment. So what I'm going to do is the first thing I'm going to choose is what to do. So for example, let's do a banana this time. So I'm going to search the web and I'm just going to search banana. All right. I actually kind of like the bunch of bananas, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now these bananas have a lot of white space on the edges and what we want to do is get rid of that. Norbert, stop. Sorry guys, I had to yell at my cat for a second there. So what I'm going to do to get rid of the edge is actually crop my image using this tool here. And you can see it makes this black line. So all I'm going to do is pull the black line over closer to my bananas to get rid of some of that white spot. Oops, I moved it. So I can just undo that. So when I click on it, I want to make sure I have the little arrow button there. And then I'm just going to hit the enter key and I have my bananas. So now we want to make this a diptych, so we want to have a lot of them. So I'm just going to fill the page with some of them. So I have that there, and I'm just going to Apple, or, or sorry, I'm on a Mac, so for me it's Apple D, but for you it's going to be Control D for duplicate. And I want to try to fill it in. I don't want any white space in between my images, so I'm going to make sure that the whole frame is captured there. And now because I have these edges that are showing, all I'm going to do is grab this little edge here and bring it so that my picture frame doesn't have any of that like um, cross marks behind it. So here are my bananas, but right now they're all the exact same color. And that's not very Andy Warhol-like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one, and then I'm going to come up here to Format Options, and it's going to pull this menu down at the sides where I can hit Recolor. And if I come in here, it's got all of these different colors that I can choose from. To make my bananas. Um, so you can choose a bunch of them. If you don't like a color, you can always go back and change it. Like I think these two are a little too similar. 
So I'm going to come up here and I think I'm going to come, I kind of like this brown. Now you can see what it did is did back. That's just a glitch. So I'm just going to reload my page and it has it correctly. So it just glitched a little bit. That's okay. Just hit the reload button, which is like the little curly thing and it'll work. So now that this is done, I want to add a border. So I'm actually going to come up and I'm going to grab a rectangle shape and I'm going to cover over my whole picture first. But then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the paint bucket and I'm actually going to click transparent. What that's going to do is it's just going to give me the line around the edge, but my line's not very thick right now. So in order to get a thicker line, I'm going to come up here and I think I'm going to come down to eight. And it just makes it kind of like it's in a picture frame. It makes it a little bit neater. So now that this is done, I can click out of it and make sure I hit the turn it in button and turn it in. Alrighty, I hope you enjoy doing your Andy Warhol project and I can't wait to see them. Have a great day.